what was uh, the guy's name? Mandy? Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. Yeah, I, I forget his first name. But yeah, he used to be a Manchester City player. Yeah. He's got a great left foot. So he's like a crosser. He plays out on the, on the sides. Mm. Great crosser. Mm. Fast. Mm. Really fast. Mm. I like him. Yeah. But I liked him until mm. then everything started to happen. I think it's been like two to three years okay. where he hasn't been on the pitch because he's had legal battles. So he's been going through this two, two to three years? Just about, yeah. Two to three years where basically mm. Manchester City won't let him play, won't let him play mm. because of the fact that he has all these legal battles going on. And they Understandable. Don't want to, it's a company. Mm. When scandal like that happens, they think about how do I protect the how do we protect the, the, brand. the brand? Yeah. So then they all the other players exactly. Since there was an ongoing trial, mm. they didn't want to come out and say, "Oh, we don't." You know, they wanted to be like, "All right, we don't." There's still a trial going on. Mm. We're just gonna distance ourselves a little while until the outcome. Mm. But then I think they released him out of his contract. They decided to let him go in while the investigation was. Pending. While the investigation or the trial was pending, because he's no longer a Manchester City player. But then the question is this, okay? Yeah. This girl made this up. Actually, it's two women. <sighs> two women made something up about a football player, and now <sighs> his livelihood and everything is destroyed. Career, everything gone, destroyed. <sighs> okay, so no repercussions, no nothing, just a. Hey, you just, you're a man, you just have to... Nah, bro, that's unfair. But that's the thing, though. Uh, that's why you have a trial. Yeah, but that's in why you have a trial. So innocent till proven guilty. Yes. True. But he's innocent. Now, he's been... He's proven been, innocent. Not that he's been proven innocent. He won... The jury found him innocent. <laughs> yeah, okay. That so does not innocent. mean he's innocent. It could be that... I haven't read the results. Mm -hmm. It could be he won on a technicality. Yeah. Could be like not enough evidence could be produced because this happened three years ago. But who gets the Champions League? Technically, who hmm. wins the Champions League? Let's well, say not the him. finals. Manchester City without him. Yeah, but I'm saying like in general, right? Whoever wins gets the the trophy. So, okay, okay, all right, all right. So There's not like ah, technically this team was better. Yambo, but Yambo, the the fine line is so important, is it not? No. Okay, let me ask you something. Okay. Right? A guy hit your car. Yes. Okay. Mm. He hit your car. Mm. You weren't there to see it. But maybe someone saw it mm. and gave you uh, gave you a description. Mm. The guy that hit your car was driving a red car. Mm. I couldn't really exactly tell, but he seemed like you know black guy mm. or white guy. Mm. This many, you know, this hair. This, the car looked like it was a Volvo uh, C7, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you go to the police. Mm -hmm. They go out with the news. They look for that kind of car. Mm -hmm. They found the car. Okay. They found the car. Mm -hmm. The car has a bump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you take this guy to, to trial. Mm -hmm. He's going to pay for the damages of your car. Yes. But then he found, he's found. Does he also have a bump on his car? He has a bump on his car. Okay. Yeah. Okay? But he's found innocent. <laughs> right? No, no, no. And the reason he was I found know what innocent, you're doing. I know. Okay. The I'll... reason he's found innocent was because the person who mm. actually told you mm. that it was him mm. maybe happened to have some past history, and therefore his witness, or his his testimony mm. was thrown out. You okay. could not use it in the trial. Yes. And therefore, you had a lack of evidence to prove that you could make the connection between your car mm. and his car. Okay. So he's found. Not guilty. It's not a are perfect saying, system. Okay. It's not are you saying system? that by, by your own by your own logic, yeah. since he won, yeah. you lied? No. Oh? I didn't lie because my car was still damaged. And but the girl didn't like, lie because maybe they were still raped. Yeah, but it wasn't like somebody raped and they're like, okay, who raped the girl? No, it, she accused. I saw you do it, right? Right. And okay. if she's accusing somebody, mm -hmm then of course that person has to be, as we live in today's society, the person has to be trialed. They have to be held account yes. accountable. Hold accountable, right. but the thing which I'm saying is like, now they look through all the evidence. Did they though? Because I don't they know. They must have, it's a court. Of course, but 
they look through all the evidence that exists at the time, mm. taking into account also uh, the testimonies. I, uh, right? I get it. Maybe. So lack of witnesses, DNA, technicalities, lack of DNA. Mm. This could have been a few weeks later when there's like, oh, that happened to you. Mm. It also happened to me. Mm. Together, mm. let's go and go to the police mm. and let's make a case. Mm. This is maybe a few weeks later. I don't know. I haven't really read into yes. it, but then maybe not enough evidence to actually, you know, get him fingered or get him... What do you call it? To to Trial. actually yeah, yeah. To, to win the case. Uh -huh. So they failed. But does that mean they were not raped? Does that mean they were not sexually molest um, molested? No. No, it doesn't mean, mean they were lying. lying. If people really look into the case, okay, right, and they figure out, okay, this like let's say the Johnny Depp situation where you got okay. somebody literally just lying about Johnny, and it. They proved that she was just lying. All of this was just a scam, right? Did they? Yes, they did. Okay. Because by the trial, we're watching the trial. We've um, seen the trial. Yes, yes. but I, I, I came away what with a different What repercussions view. do you think a woman should have when she makes things up about her man and destroys the career, do, does all of that? What repercussions? Because right now it feels like they can just make up whatever they want and they, then it's just... They, which is women. Okay. Where, when have you ever heard of a man saying that he got raped, even by another man? That's something which you... That shit happens in prison all the time. It does happen in prison, but you, you, know, you keep it on the down. It's not like you, do, wow. you don't expose it. So, so because it's not exposed as much, it doesn't happen? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, like, when have you ever heard of it? If, and, if a girl comes out with such an accusation, which is a very serious accusation, okay, very serious, there's consequences to what everybody does. Don't you think that there should be consequences if a person makes something like this up? I can agree. I agree with that. That if someone mm. made something up mm. that is that horrendous mm. and it can be proved that this person completely made it up without mm. a doubt mm. in a court of law, mm. then there should be some sort of consequences uh, to this, mm. that to that person who has made up such a lie, mm. especially if it has had terrible repercussions, like for example, that the person ended up losing their job, mm. they lost their livelihood, mm -hmm. their family, their, maybe like it could be monetary compensation, mm. it could be jail time for the person who lied, you know, because in many cases they, they lie under oath, yeah. right? Then they have to go in front of a jury and then and, and be like, can you, you know, mm. tell the truth, like some here that or less on yeah, yeah. And then they're like, yes, this really happened to me. And then later maybe like, you know, doctors, analysis, whatever, they find out mm. that, no, it didn't. Mm -hmm. You made all of this shit up. Yeah. Then there should be some sort of consequences. I completely agree with that. But I'm not... But I'm also saying that there is a gray there, area there is, where there um, is there is situations where women are and I think honestly mm -hmm. in our society today mm -hmm. there are more women being raped. Yes, of course. Those I'm are not saying that. Coming, listen, I'm not saying that that's coming, not that's not happening. But okay. what I'm saying is it's a wild accusation, right? And there are certain people <clears throat> or certain women which do make mm. things like this up. The, it's not the first scenario where you have seen a woman lie no under but, oath because she wants either attention uh she wants to make money or whatever mm. i think the seriousness of the crime mm. means that it should be taken seriously in all cases yes right but it should also be taken seriously if exactly. because yeah i get it when people say maybe you should not punish the victim but the victim sometimes has to be punished if the victim is lying yes yes I, I, I understand what you mean. So you're saying that in a situation where she's found to have been lying or mm. he yeah. could be a guy as well yeah. found to have been lying about this, there yes. should be some sort of penalty against exactly. that person. Exactly. I, okay. I, I don't think maybe it's your prison time, but maybe she should pay something. Okay. Maybe but pay for the court fees and pay... How do, how do we determine, how do we, in, in a situation like this case with Mandy, for example, mm. let's just play with the thought mm. that, okay, he well, actually that's what happened. He won the case. Yes. Winning the case doesn't mean that the women were lying. They okay. Were so what what you're saying is somebody still got killed. Let's say in the uh, the what's that <laughs> the 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 football player. What's his name? Mandy. No, no, no. The the other football player. The the American football player. What's his name? The black guy which got 
Ray something, the one who beat <laughs> his wife in the elevator? We know that, no, no, not Ray Rice. Yeah, I'm thinking about oh, the other guy. Oh, you talk somebody about died. Jay. Or two people no, died. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. <laughs> two people died. And he got, like, so technically like, he got off because the gloves did not fit, right? Right. It's like... <laughs> I, th I think it was more than just the glove. But yeah. that's definitely... But technically you know. somebody died there. Yeah. His family still feel like... You know, he's the one who did it, even mm. though he got off on the technicality. Mm. And then you could be like, well, just because he won the case doesn't mean he didn't do it. Yes. Right? I think, I think it's a so then horrible you're saying, system that we have. Okay, whoa, stop, stop, stop. But it's, it's not, okay, this is an US system. Okay. But we're talking about a British system. Yeah. But let, let's, let me just ask you something. In that situation, okay. yes. who are the victims if we talk about the OJ Simpson case? Who's the victim? Ooh, that's a. The, no, the, besides the, two besides the wife and, 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 and the people who the died, they're dead. The and family. You, thank you. Yes. So, so if they if it's the family who brought up this case, mm. I actually it's not the family because it's it, well, it, it's like OJ against the US. It's it's pretty much against the US. Is it all oh, the that's trial? Okay. The, the trial is against you. like United States versus OJ. Okay. Pretty much, that's how it's set up. So mm. it's not like unless it's like the family suing for compensation, then it's not. You know, the okay, same thing. Okay. But, okay, in a situation where, say that the family mm. is accusing OJ of murder, let's say, yes. okay, or whatever, mm. and they are seeking some sort of punishment against OJ. Yeah. And then OJ is found innocent. Yeah. You're saying that now the family should be liable for paying all those fees because you're saying by being proven Innocent yeah. automatically means that the family is lying and there should be repercussions to the family. Ooh, I like <laughs> I like what you did there, but I'm gonna say this. Okay, yeah. this is what I'm gonna say. It's not a perfect system that we have. It's not okay. But if Christianity helps, let's say I like how no, you keep no, 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 no. to If Christianity things. helps, sick. 70% of the population, right? Okay. And there's that 30 which like, ah... Uh, 30 is like, it's, that's pretty a good success rate. Okay. If somebody says, Tangi, 70% of the time, I'll, I'll right. make you money out. But there's 30% of the time that I might blow your account. <laughs> it sounds like... But... Okay. 70% you can you can trust me. You can trust me 70% of the time. Do you trust that system? Okay. Um, or do you say, nah, 30 is too high? No, no, I don't trust the system as such. And let me just give you an example of the Swedish system, for example, because okay. this is the Swedish the system that we live under. And But yeah. this, this, in my opinion, this is regardless of ever, any system, right? Mm -hmm. If you go back, not Swedish system, let's pause with the Swedish system. Let's just look at any system. Any system. Right? Yeah. British system. Yeah. Or if you go back far enough, yeah. there were rule, there were laws mm. in place mm. that were not to the benefit of all. Okay? There were laws that were clearly designed to benefit other, some mm. and, and make things life or difficult, life difficult for others. Yes. Slavery true. is one of them. True, true. Okay? Yes, that you're right, right about. And you're saying that, well, we don't have a perfect system, but in this system, you know, it benefits me more than you, so that's not really my problem. No, I'm saying it benefits everybody more than... Well, yeah, but that's the thing. Since we know we don't have a perfect system, yes. they, whereas compared to religion, you can't really change it as much, because this is a word of God, there is mm. no real debate. Mm. Whereas with law, mm. you can challenge the law and be like, this law... It's either unconstitutional mm. or it is uh, wrong on a moral ground mm. or it is uh, victimizing some sort of group of people mm. or mm. just like for example with the law when it comes to uh, against LGBT that mm. only with straight people can get married mm. this is you know not fair for the people of the LGBT community yes. and therefore you can challenge the law you can push into you know higher but court isn't it always more of a rule no, but well, then like you the can, mob no, you don't. No, there's no mob rule because then you go to the higher court and they decide that this law is unconstitutional, and then they strike down the law, and then you need to rewrite a new law. Mm. That's how society works. Yes, but what I'm saying the mob always determines 
lagar or and the rules. Mm. Because if it benefits the mob, then they're gonna go for it. If if it benefits what 70% of of the people, mm -hmm. then of course we're gonna what what other system can we implement? No, which but is because because as good as what well, we have right now. Because look, if you go back to, to talk about like for example slavery, mm -hmm. it benefited the majority of the white people and they still recognize that it was wrong on moral grounds and yeah. decided to change it yeah. for the for the sake of the minority. Yes. So sure. mob rule, no, I don't really agree with that. Because you can have a law, I mean like you cannot say that the LGBT community mm. is a majority in Sweden or in any in most countries. It's not. It's a minority. But, but we understand that here we have a moral obligation to make the law as fair to the heterosexual yes, community as, as much the as the homosexual yeah. community or the transgender community or all communities. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we need to make changes to the law. Yes. For the sake of all. Yes. I agree. So it's not mob rule. Otherwise, we're just like, no, but this is good for us. We are the heterosexual community. Why should we change this for the sake of others? Yeah, but in, I would say, almost every single society, that, also every single country has some form of capitalism, right? How do you get to capitalism? No, I'm just saying like some form, like somebody has to capitalize on the misery of others. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, if you look at it from that perspective, it's like, yes, maybe the laws are not really, doesn't benefit everybody, right. but there is no other, there's no other system which works as good as the system that we have right now. Otherwise, we would have implemented it. No, 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 no. But that's the thing. We know the system we have right now, mm -hmm. or even regardless if this is our system or it's Chinese system, whatever system that country has, mm -hmm. no, it's not a perfect system. And the reason they continue to, imp to, to, to they work to improve on it yes. by challenging the laws, trying to, to, to build a more perfect union. They try to improve for the benefit of others because why? Because we're living in a changing society and changing times. Some of the laws that maybe were written were written in the 1800 and they're no longer relevant today. Yes. You cannot enforce them because things have changed. Yes. There are laws that are needed today that, that did not exist yeah, then. Like, AI like for example, role. you know, how do we write laws for AI, AI to yes. protect humans or whatever and stuff mm. like that. So we need to constantly have laws that are evolving to the circumstances and the situations that we're living in. Whereas before you're like, well, um, there was no law mm. against, uh, you know, maybe hacking someone's laptop mm. and then looking at them mm -hmm. through their ha laptop. I, I and, see what you're saying. and then you're like, well, I actually, but there was a law. Involved. There was a law mm. against, like, you know, uh, looking into somebody's window and then, you know, invasion or of privacy. Or like even flying a drone. Exactly. You're right. Exactly. And then filming people. Because exactly. There was no invasion law. of privacy. Yeah. If you're looking, you know, into somebody's home and you're invading their privacy, mm. and then before they were, the law was, if you break into their house, mm. then you're invading their privacy because now you're in their home. But then the argument became, no, but you can hack their laptops. You're still half the world away, but you're still invading their privacy. And then they say, but that's not what the law says. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to rewrite the law mm. so it's more accurate to the time that we live in. So just as this situation with, um, if we bring it back to Mandy, mm. all right, one thing does not mean the other. Just because he got off on a technicality doesn't mean he didn't do it. Maybe the law needs to be changed for the sake of him to be actually found guilty. People get but off how, on technicalities yeah, all the time. How do you time. change the law so it benefits men a little bit better in situations like this? Because right it benefits now, benefits men. Yeah, but right now, it's, how do you equalize it a little bit? Because right now, it feels are, it's unfair because he lost, he lost everything. Okay. And still, let me just like okay. But let me ask you something. If if at the, the end of the day, it's, he lost. Yes, okay. So let me ask you something, right? Mm -hmm. Let's play with the thought that, let's just say, he did it. You know he did mm -hmm. it. I know he did okay. it. Yeah. 100% he did it. Okay. okay. We're just playing with this thought. Yeah. He did it. Yes. Would you still have a problem with the fact that he lost everything? No. Why? Because he did it. Right, but no, no. He was not found guilty, but he did it. And he lost everything. But he was found innocent. Would you still have a problem with it then? He was found innocent on a technicality. 
maybe, or whatever, not lack of evidence, whatever. Mm. But we know he did it. Mm. Like, you know, mm. OJ. He did, <laughs> <laughs> nigga did that thing. So, we all know he did it, <laughs> but he won the, the case. The didn't fit. The glove didn't fit. <laughs> but, like, but then you're like, but he did, if, he, if OJ was living in the world of the internet when he came around, oh my right? God, that's he can't wow. play for any team. All his endorsements, mm. he lost pretty much everything. He did get, he gets a Kanye bank mm -hmm, locked mm -hmm, everything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you're like, well, we all know he did it, so he kind of deserves some kind of punishment. But the law could not give him that kind of punishment. He won in, in court. Would you still feel like it's unfair? If he no, no, it's no. not unfair. No, because if he did it, then it's not unfair for him to lose everything. Okay, then. The Mandy situation. Mm. What if he actually did it and that he lost everything? But he, he was found guilt innocent. Yeah. But in reality he did it. And what's worse, imagine if not only did he do it, but then on the logic you were going on before, saying no, no. Now you have a lot of men against these two women. They lied, they must have lied. Otherwise, how how could they find him innocent? Let's sue the women now. So now the victims are on defense to protect themselves over something that he actually did. That's true. That's, I didn't think of it like, of course, we're not, we should not attack the victims because you should make it open so what people can come and they can accuse other people. Men, you still can't, you still can't just destroy a person's career like that and because this is a person, he's also a victim now. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on how you look at it. Yes, he's a victim like in the sense of when we say like everyone deserves their day in court mm -hmm. and should be, they shouldn't, you or shouldn't maybe, lose Or maybe year. what they should do is maybe have a law for like clubs and so forth. If something like this happens, they have to, they can't just like, for clubs, end the, what do you mean? Oh, like a football the, club? Yeah, and the contract and then... But this is not just a football club problem. This could happen anywhere. This can happen in your current job. But like, you could be working... As yeah, but they should have, and, like, they should maybe implement that. Maybe that's the counter-argument that they, they implement that in across the board. Like, if a person is accused, you have to wait until the verdict. Because okay. now it feels like... In the social media age... They could just, like, ah, uh, it's a little bit too too much right now, we'll, we'll leave this guy. And then after that, it's... I personally feel like this, this is a serious case, what happened here. Mm. And without having read enough about the case to understand how did he manage to win the case, it could be that he honestly did these things and probably deserved what got, what deserved, you know, the loss of his contract, all these kind of things probably even deserves more compared to what he put these women through. Probably. But, but if he's innocent then he's innocent. If he's proven innocent, like that's the system which we have to, we have to follow the system. Whether I believe a certain thing, we still have to follow the system. That's like saying in Africa right mm -hmm. now, certain people stole certain land from people. We're still, we're still going with the law of the land. We understand that that happened. It's very tragic, but still, you're poor, and you guys are living somewhere out in Swakop Moon, and we'll shove you in these like these shacks, and these people get to have all this beautiful land and build a, a well-functioning society, mm. and you guys have to, you you just have to. That's just how it is. If if we're looking from that perspective, then it's like. Well, that's the law of the land. Whether we like it or not, that's how it is. If the people say, technically, OJ is innocent, then we have to say, <laughs> technically, he is. Because that's just how we have, that is just how we have put it there and we can't do anything about the law of the land unless we change it, unless we implement some new laws, that's how it is, he's innocent. I I, I worry a little bit about like, for example, this whole Mandy thing, especially because for me, mm. as a father to two children, mm. two girls, mm. this can happen to them. This can happen to them that they go out, mm. meet friends, yes, and 
100%. in a safe environment where they thought, no, we're just hanging out with our friends. Yeah. And then maybe someone slips something mm. into their drink. 100%. And then they wake up and something, God forbid, horrible mm. would have happened to them. Mm. Mm. And the idea mm. that then someone mm. could get off or win the case mm. on whatever. Now, I'm not saying that that's how he won, but mm. maybe not lack of evidence or not enough to really forget to have her, pro you know, for, to prove that he actually did it. Yes. And then he walks away. Yeah. And then it's like, people start asking these questions like, um, now what? He lost his job. He lost his la 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 la. It's like, well, yeah, but do you understand what she lost? What do you honestly just imagine? Because I, I, maybe there are some women who mm. do this, but imagine as a woman yeah. coming forward mm. and you know your face, your name will be plastered. You will, if you lose that case, mm. and this might be one of the reasons why a lot of women don't, okay. because they don't want to be put in public mm. as a woman that got raped and be branded with that. Yes. They rather live with that shame and move on with their lives. Yes. But imagine the courage it takes mm. to come forward and mm. say, this happened to me mm. and that person did it. Okay. And then imagine now to be in court mm. and then maybe because of whatever, because of the laws or whatever technicality or whatever, mm. you lost the case. Mm. You know he did it, mm. but you lost the case. Mm. And then to walk out of that courtroom mm. and then the next thing to hear is like, or oh, we should now go after that girl because by the fact, by the very fact that he won mm. means that she lied. Okay. And then you would have women or people on Facebook mm. attacking, mm. you know, you know, uh, demonizing her mm. for everything that, you know, the idea that this could happen to my children scares me. Mm. And even if they're not having enough strength of self, mm. who they are, mm. they will end up taking Maybe their life because they can't handle the pressure. Mm. They're being mobbed. They're being threatened. They're mm. being, you know, in the scary situations that they can end up in. Mm. It's just for me, it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. Okay, but I'll counter argue. Say this. Imagine that happened to me. Imagine a girl came out mm. tomorrow. <laughs> you will live in the same apartment. Mm. <clears throat> and you know, like, hey, I was, I was filming with Yambo, mm. right? But technically, that moment you weren't filming because I went down to the pizzeria, right? Right. Or something. Mm. This girl makes something about, up about me. We go to trial. I lose the case. I lose my job. I lose everything. I lose everything. You, you, you can see it in real time. People hate Yambo now. They're calling him names. You did this to this girl. All of that is happening, mm. right? Mm. And you know, you, you're there like, but he did not do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's okay. Uh, it would be different. And the crazy part is like, yes, a, a woman would at least get sympathy. People in, in a situation like this will probably not even, after a while, they, yeah, but you're a man. Just, that's how it is. Like, I would say... I would say it's it's just as so like, why well, you're saying that people will be like walk it off. <laughs> That's what they're saying to the guy right now. Yeah, we understand. You're innocent, but uh, yeah, just uh, you can't come back to Manchester United. It's yeah. Well, uh, shall we buy the next player? <laughs> <laughs> shall we? <laughs> the guy's like, but, but I, I was I was innocent. Can, can I at least get my contract back to try? Nah. Okay, uh, Holland, uh, you wanna <laughs> you wanna jump in and uh, you know? So it's it's I would say it's horrible for both sides. It is, but the way that we have we have it right now is it, this is the best system that we we have. Okay. Yes, and that's how I view it. Anyway, guys. Like, comment, and share if you like videos like this. I got my big brother here. In this video, where we're just chatting about and some crazy that are things, on, yeah, on the yeah, internet. yeah, that's a wild one. That was a wild one. That's a wild it makes, one. It makes you think. It does it make makes you think. think. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Cheers. That's a that's a video.